Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here, and before I got started on my scrolling parallax background, I wanted to get my character done, and as you can see, I drew her in Procreate, I inked her out, and here is the final animation. It was just three frames. My final inking animation, and then I kind of made the mistake by coloring her in in Procreate, and this is my final inking, but then I honestly don't know what happened guys. I completely forgot when I tried to move my <clears throat> animation over to uh, Blender and I tried to trace it. I was like, oh wait crap, you can't trace a colored <laughs> a colored um, MP4. So I had to just bring over the inking and you know, eh, it's okay. My um, Procreate, I like my Procreate colored in version better, but I don't know, it just escaped my mind. I, I made a video about it and everything. Okay, so back to the animation. I added a time set, a time offset modifier just to keep the animation going. Cause again, originally she was only three frames. And now that my character's done, I went into Photoshop and I drew my background, which will be my scrolling parallax background. And as you can see, it was in Photoshop. And this is based on an image I saw of Jordan, the desert in Jordan, um, in Unisplash, because that's one of my places I want to visit one day. And I, as you can see, I made the ground super long. And right now I'm about to go in and save every individual layer as a PNG. And that's how I'm going to save it. Yeah, so make sure when you're doing this that you make sure every layer is individual because if I would have had all of this on one layer, it wouldn't have been able to give that, you know, that scrolling effect that we're trying to achieve. And now that I'm back in Blender, I'm going to upload every individual PNG. I'm going to add the image as a plane. So to do that, you go to add image and then image as planes and if you didn't have that like i didn't you go to edit preferences add-ons i just typed an image and i was able to check mark the image import image images as planes and this is the part you can adjust your pngs however you want and like of course I want the clouds far back and I'm trying to build like you know the background the clouds the mountains in the back and then I want the ground super close that's how I'm gonna adjust my image as planes It took some time, but eventually I was finally able to have this scene set up as I wanted. Now that my scene was set up, it was time to add the animation for the scrolling effect. So for frame one, I'm going to make it move from left to right. So I made sure that my image as plane was on the farthest left and then when I got to frame 60 I made sure it was on the farthest right again to give that animation effect. To do this I again I would start on frame 1 and then I would make sure I would have it exactly where I wanted and then as you can see I had the object properties tab located on the right and then I would go to location as you can see location X and then I would press I to insert the keyframe and then as I went to frame 60 I would make sure that again it was where I wanted and then 
For under location X, press I again to insert another keyframe to give that animation effect. I would right click and then interpolation mode, I would change it to linear because by default, um, Blender has like an easing in and easing out effect and I did not want that so I changed it to linear to get rid of that. I wanted it did like a straight line and that's what the linear option does. And again I did that process with every layer. And then when I finally finished um, animating every layer, I decided to render the animation just to see what it looked like. And here's what it looked like. Yeah, so a couple things. Um, I thought the foreground was moving a little too fast. And I thought she, it was like she was bouncing up and down. So that was a mistake I made. I should have made her kind of like easing up and easing down and said like again remember I only drew three frames so it was like uh, 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 uh. I did not like that at all so off screen I went in and I again like I did previously I changed inter interpolation mode to linear so there was no easing and easing out effect and I went in to the graph editor and I slightly adjusted under location I changed the Z excess just a little bit just slightly I mean, you can't tell right now, but I just wanted it to be again, like, like you're like she's on a hoverboard, like slowly gliding up and slowly gliding down instead of like she's on like a roller coaster. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Have like the a gliding effect. And again, I was in the graph editor. One of the last things I did is I wanted to add a shadow on the ground because I wanted to be like she was a couple feet off the ground or no, not a couple feet, a couple inches off the ground. And when you do that, there is a shadow under you on the ground. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, hopefully you learned from the mistakes that I made. So you won't make them if you ever attempt to make a scrolling parlex background. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKA JJ. Until next time.